क्वेश्चन नंबर सेकेंड इट रीड्स इन फिगर वन इज शोन एक्टिक प्रेशर वेरिएशन विद पोजिशन इन हारमोनिक साउंड वेब ट्रेवलिंग इन अ पॉजिटिव एक्स डायरेक्शन पीरियड ऑफ द साउंड वेब इज एट सेकेंड फिगर वन वॉज रिकॉर्डेड एट इक्वल टू जीरो टेन सेकेंड इन द सेकेंड फिगर द प्रेशर वेरिएशन curves are shown there are two curves shown at a successive instant of times t1 and t2 and both these figures have been drawn in the same scale which of the following sets correctly express possible values of t1 and t2 that's what we need to find out so this picture the figure 1 is of the instant t equal to 10 second the same wave has been uh, drawn or snapshotted at a different times t1 and t2 which is which, which are being plotted in the figure 2 so how we can proceed is like this let's say the pressure variation of this sound wave is like p is equal to p not sin omega t minus kx plus phi because we know a wave traveling in positive x direction should have written like omega t minus kx or something like that now let's consider from this picture at x equal to 0 when the time was 10 second the pressure was found to be zero so we will be writing uh, figure 1 says condition that x equal to 0 t equal to 10 second p comes out to be zero moreover dp by dx if we calculate this is also positive so these are the initial conditions that are given to us now uh, in this equation omega is 2 pi by t of course and t is 8 second that is given in the equation itself so we know the omega which comes out to be pi by 4 radian per second now we can put the value of omega and we can apply these conditions on this equation so it turn out to that p is equal to p not sin omega which is pi by 4 t which is 10 x which is 0 and plus 5 so this turn out to be sin 5 pi by 2 plus 5 must be equal to 0 which basically says cos 5 must be 0 that means 5 must be pi by 2 there can be an, several responses for this so we will choose this 5 is equal to pi by 2 now we can read substitute this thing on this expression that we started with so we will find that the pressure wave will become this p not sin pi by 4 t minus kx plus pi by 2 then we can say this pi by 2 plus something it becomes will gets converted to cos so it could be written like p not cos pi t by 4 minus kx this is the pressure wave equation of this figure 1 case or or, uh, or or of the wave which was shown in this t equal to 10 second in the figure 1 now this equation will give us uh, the information about the pressure at all times at all positions now if you look carefully on this figure figure 2 when x is equal to 0 so one figure has uh, this thing uh, pressure as max which is p not another uh, curve is starting from negative of it and if you count it like this was 1 2 3 4 four divisions makes it p not here it goes like 1 2 3 and some part of the 3 and not into the 4 so you will can say you, you you will find that this is corresponding to uh, you can say 0.7 p not p not being the max or something like that so basically this can be said as uh, p not by root 2 with a minus version now here it is written about the uh, figure 2 at x equal to 0 p is equal to p not and p is equal to minus p not by root 2 that i just explained and uh, when we talk about x equal to 0 then we can substitute over here and then we can write the pressure at all times so pressure at all times at x equal to 0 is going to be given by this expression just putting x equal to 0 so that's going to be p is equal to p not cos pi t by 4 now in these options certain time instants have been used to uh, 
find the values of this t1 and t2 so those time instants uh, i have listed over here and corresponding the p value we have calculated over here so when the t is equal to 0 substitute t equal to 0 the pressure turn out to be p naught so this dark line can explain this p naught case when t2 is 3 seconds so for 3 second you will find it turn out to be minus p naught by root 2 how put t equal to 3 so that will become 3 pi by 4 cos 3 pi by 4 is going to be equal to um, minus 1 by root 2 so this multiplied with p naught becomes minus p naught by root 2 so this will become minus p naught by root 2 so that means this pair is giving the uh, correct expression for t1 and t2 similarly uh, if we consider 8 and 11 second so at 8 second this will give us uh, p value as p naught at 11 it gives us minus p naught by root 2 you can check by putting the values over here that means this pair is also um, explaining those times for which this figure can be drawn similarly we can check for 11 and 16 so at 11 t equal to 11 second it turned out to be minus p naught by root 2 and at 6 t equal to 16 second it turned out to be p naught all can be checked from here so that means this pair is also uh, can be explained by this figure similarly 16 and 19 you check before 16 and 19 we get the same pair that means these two sets of curve or set of curves can explain uh, these times or can be drawn at this pair of times so that means all pair of times uh, can be used to plot these uh, graphs or curves hence we will say b c and d all figures as answer. Thank you.